everyone dies. No. <laughs> oh, cash. Quinn, tell me a story. Quinn, what kind of barnacle you got? Shut up, Cash. A long barnacle. Um, there once was a guy who played flow. He played so much, he was so much of a flower, they called him the Floaster. And then one day he decided to retire from being a Floaster and ended his career. The end. Get off the stage. Get the end of story. Tell me your story. Um, there once was a lonely tractor. Who forgot his wheel at home. He went back home, got his wheel, and all his friends had gone. The end of the story. The end. That's so uh, sad. Um, there once was... <laughs> there once was a god... There once was a, um, a barn. And this barn had no doors. Without the doors, the barn blew over, and, um, he lost all his red paint. So, without his red paint, he could not find a lady, and without ladies, the barn could not make doors. And so, that's how the story ends the end. <laughs> I'm not gonna trust you a story, Benny. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I ain't a storyteller. <laughs> I'm not a good at them. <laughs> you can't put me on the spot. Cash, Cash quit taking a piss from telling your story. I'm, I'm gonna text him out right now. Um. <laughs> text him, stop pissing, tell a story. Quit taking a piss. What in the flippity fluck is this? Tell me a story. Okay, hopefully you got the message. He didn't get the message. What if he didn't get the message? Um, he got the message. Nice. Wait. <laughs> what is what is up with you with that story? No. <laughs> there once was an ugly barnacle. What do you mean, no? <laughs> of course! <laughs> what is up with you in that story? It's so dumb! It doesn't make sense! <laughs> it once was an ugly barnacle. <laughs> I don't know how it goes, I forgot. There once was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. <laughs> oh, yeah. There once was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. <laughs> I love ah. that story. It's my favorite story. It's your favorite story of the story? What's your story? A scary story? I would love to hear this answer. This better knock my socks off, man. Okay. We told it in theater once when you were doing a scary story unit. I see. I literally have my socks on my hand, so if I don't throw them out of the hand, this, song, this uh, story wasn't very scary. Wait. So a man who a farm. Alright, here we go. And... I am telling the story! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive! And... I'm sorry. I'm 
so we just it was a little man who was on a farm and he had a lot of land but then just all of his land was tall yellow grass and he could barely see the side of the road but he had a lot of land mm -hmm. one day he was rocking in a rocking chair on his porch when he just sees a black dot in the distance mm -hmm. he pays no attention and just thinks it's another hitchhiker walking on the side of the road mm -hmm. and when this thing gets closer he realizes it's a walking possum but like moving back and forth closer to him when it was close enough the man could hear it going boom 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 scared the man ran inside and grabbed a shotgun <laughs> and the coffin was close up to his house <laughs> boom 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 <laughs> The man shot the coffin a few times, but the bullets didn't do anything. Not a scratch. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. The coffin got closer. <laughs> so the man ran, the man ran inside and locked the door behind him and reloaded his shotgun. Boom, boom, boom. The coffin knocked over the door. The man shot the coffin again, but to his demise, it didn't do shit. <laughs> So the man ran upstairs and he grabbed a pistol. <laughs> and as the coffin was making its way upstairs, boom, 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 the man shot the coffin until he had no more bullets. And then he ran to the bathroom and locked the door behind it. Boom, boom, boom. And then the coffin broke down the bathroom door and the man started screaming, throwing everything that he could grab at the coffin. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, bar of soap. <laughs> he opened the man's cabinet. Down on heavy coffin. He threw cough drops at it. The next day, the coffin stopped moving. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. The <laughs> cough drops at the cough and it can't stop moving. <laughs> Dude, I have, I have been laughing since the moment you said he grabbed the shotgun and shot the fucking coffin. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean he shot a coffin? What do you expect to do? <laughs> Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> and then he threw a bar of soap. God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> oh god, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Ping, thank you, Bo. Yeah. You know what? Go for it. Okay. There was once a boy. What do you want to name this boy? Um, Tom, uh, t uh, uh, Jerry. Okay. Name this boy Jerry. And Jerry had a, the most loving father in the world who would give Jerry, who would give Jerry. Give Jerry what? Who would give Jerry absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. So, on Jerry's, um, on Jerry's 10th birthday, his dad asked him, Hey Jerry, what do you want for your birthday? And Jerry said, Dad. I want a pink pinky ball. And Jerry's dad said, No, I got you a baseball glove. So, Jerry and his dad would play catch quite often. 
every single day. And Harry grew up to like the age of 13. It was really good at playing baseball. He joined his, he joined his school's baseball team and everything. He was an all-star. On Gary's 13th birthday, his dad asked Gary, Hey son, what do you want for your birthday? And Gary said, Dad, I just really want a pink pinky ball. And his dad said, No, I got you a bicycle. <laughs> so Gary was super happy with his bicycle and rode it every single day and went to competitions and shit riding bicycles because he didn't have those things. Bro, and he what? got super good at riding his bicycle. And Jerry's dad was super happy that Jerry was happy. So on Jerry's 16th birthday, his dad asked Jerry, What do you want for your birthday, Jerry? And Jerry said, I want a pink pinky ball. And Jerry said, No, I got you a car. So Jerry was thrilled. He learned how to drive, got his license, started racing. He was super good at driving cars and shit. Cause that's what you do when you get a car. <laughs> and yeah, he did races and stuff and won a whole lot. And he was super awesome. He had a good life so far. So on Jerry, um, on Jerry's twentieth birthday. His dad asked him, so, I know what you're going to say to my question of what do you want for your birthday, but I already got you. Take it to Peru. And Jerry was like, fine, I just want to pick pinky ball, but okay, thank you. So, for a year, Jerry went to Peru, and he had an awesome time holding sloths and drinking banana juice or whatever they do in the room. And when Jerry came back after a year, he was very sick. He was very sick and he was in the hospital. And it was his 21st birthday. Jerry's dad went to visit Jerry in the hospital. And he asked him, son, what do you want for your birthday this year? And Jerry said, I just really want a pink pinky ball, Dad. And his dad said, okay. Dad, I'll get you a pink pinky ball. So you have to tell me why you wanted a pink pinky ball since you were 10 years old. And Jerry said, well, Dad, I really wanted a pink pinky ball because... And then Jerry died. The end. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was the most lamest... Stupid story. <laughs> I was expecting this pink pink you bought to cure fucking cancer or make him like Superman. What the? You just fucking died. That was an amazing story, wasn't it? Oh.